Welcome everyone to our belated celebration of Book of the Year Award. I'm Pam Stack and I'm with Dan White, host of Out with Dan. Welcome, Dan. Thank you, Pam, and welcome everyone. How exciting this is. I know, I know. It's so cool. We have so many fabulous book award winners to go ahead and talk about. So um, first of all, let me just share a little bit with you that um, we have a group that we can submit books to. They read the books and they come back to us with their final list. Um, and then we winnow those down into the categories. Uh, so Dan, how about you kick off the categories? Who are you going to talk about right now? Perfect. Up first is the winner of the historical mystery section, and it's Lev A.C. Rosen for The Bell and the Fog. Congratulations, Lev. Uh, you raved about this book, and I think you've interviewed Lev a couple times, have you not? I have. I have, and he's so gracious. He's a great author and a fun read. I highly recommend it. If you like historical mysteries, this is excellent. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I'm going to have to share with you. Um, do I get to choose yes. a category? Yes. Okay, Yours so I'm next. choosing a category for romance. So my this book is so cute, Georgie All Along by Kate Claiborne. She is just such a great writer. I loved it. I had so much fun reading this book. Um, I highly recommend it. Now, you and I like romance. I we know do. you're going to like this one, too. I love it. I love it. I look forward to reading it. So who so, have you got on your list? So up next is the Police Procedural of the Year, and that award goes to Reed Farrell Coleman for Sleepless City. Ugh. Reed is such a magnificent writer. It is amazing what this man comes up with. I loved it. I loved your interview with him. I had fun time talking to him. You know, I've known Reed for a long time. Um, I, I love all his books. Um, his Mo Prager books are great. When he was writing, you know, in the Parker genre too, the, the estate for Parker. But this book is really something special. So... It it is totally something special and it is something it's something new for Reed. And I will tell you, the voicing in this book is off the charts magnificent. I cannot yeah. recommend this book enough. I agree. I agree. Well, we next, next? oh, well, next on the list is one of your favorites and mine, Keith Bruton's The Lemon Man. Yes. Uh, isn't he just so much fun? What he a is. great story this is. And for those of you who don't know, it's about a hitman who ends up taking an infant <laughs> from the apartment of somebody he's just hit. It is hysterical. Uh, I we highly recommend it. it yes. It's a lot of fun, isn't it, Dan? It is. It's. I mean, a hitman with OCD. It just. <laughs> it. It got me right at the beginning because I already have my issues with OCD myself. So I'm like, oh my god, I love this. And Keith is so fun to interview and he's so much fun this book is pam and i laughed and giggled and laughed and giggled i mean it's a sort of a serious book but it's a humorous book as well it is it, it's so delicious it really is so who else is on your list so next up is for southern gothic and this year's award goes to ashley winstead for midnight is the uh, darkest hour this book will grab you from the beginning and keep you to the end it has a bit of difference in the fact that it's it's not what you would call a big hero book. It's almost a bit of an anti-hero book, but you will root for all of the characters. It's amazing. Oh, I like that kind of book, too. And, you know, in their own mind, every character is the hero of their own story anyway. That's right. right. That's right. And so they, they, and a good writer makes every character believe themselves 100 percent. Exactly. There's no, there's no guessing who they are because whatever they do, good, bad, or indifferent, is 100% direct and on point. Ashley knocked it out of the park with this. Yeah, and your interview with her was fun. You could tell you two were simpatico. You, you got it ex exactly right. I enjoyed well. it very much. Well, I have the last category to announce, and the winner for fantasy, everybody knows this book, is Rebecca Yaros for fourth wing. Um, she has another one out now and it, it is equally as great, but I want you to see the sprayed and cut edges. And then oh, inside, 
inside, I, I'm going to show you, is the map of her world that she's created. It, this book is so spectacular. I fell into it, read it all the way through, and then started it again the next day. Wow. Wow. You know it's off the charts when that happens. You know it. I love that. Well, drum roll, please. Right. Now we come to the Mag Daddy of All, which is the 2023 Author Book of the Year, and that is Sleepless City by Reed Farrell Coleman. Congratulations, Reed. Hello, Reed. Welcome yep. and congratulations. Live, live from New York. <laughs> That's right. Well, I, yes, live from Long Island. Well, yes. Live from uh, Fort Myers. You guys, live Thank from Los Angeles. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm, I'm really honored by this. Uh, first, I, I mean, I spent a long time writing this speech in my head. So I'd like to thank everybody at Authors on the Air. Uh, you guys have always been great and supportive of my career. I'd like to congratulate and thank all of my fellow nominees because, you know, you don't make your way almost all the way to the top for nothing. So I'd like to congratulate them. I'd like to thank my agent, Shane Salerno, and the other uh, big guy at the Story Factory, Ryan Coleman. Great name, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I'm very, very, very honored by this. Thank you. Oh, Reed, I, are you you have another one coming out soon, correct? Uh, the follow up to this book, Blind to Midnight, comes out on August 13th. Hurry think, up, August. So I'm really curious. There is something about the darkness in your books. It's, it plays almost like a character when you're doing this particular series, correct? Yeah, I write with the lights out in my office. So. <laughs> there you go. You wear all black. Yeah, put a, put right. A no, on, no mirrors. Life off. <laughs> Reed, I know quite a few people that do their best work in the dark. So I, here's to it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Are well, you pulling forward some of the characters from from Sleepless? Into yeah, absolutely. Well, that that's as Dan and I discussed during our interview, which, by the way, was one of my favorite interviews I've Thank ever you, had. Um, and you know, enough about me. How do I look in this shirt? Uh, no, it's no, perfect. No, um, <laughs> when you know the, this book, Sleepless City, is the first book in a series. So, in the first book in a series, you load it with characters. Sure. So that, you know, somewhere down the line, you can pull those characters out and maybe write a book about them. Um, yeah, I, I, this book was great. It was lots of fun to write and it's been so well received. So, well, it's a lot of fun to read. I'll tell you that. It I is. want to, uh, Dan and I are going to uh, pimp your book right now again. Perfect. And, you know, we have it. We're recommending it. We want everyone to go and get it if you haven't. So, um, it's two, two. Two books in one. <laughs> Two it. readers that's in it. one. Wait, wait a second. Okay, let's have one of your the own. Triple, the triple yeah. threat. Yes. I love Isn't it. It's shocking. It's shocking. I happen to have. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this has been so much fun, Dan. You want to take it, take us out of this, and and thank you, Reed, so much for writing such a great book. On behalf of people like me who love, love, love really well written books. This one is really at the top of my list too. Well, I thank you guys. And I know I'll be seeing you guys soon. So yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I'm already ready for August. My mom used to say, don't rush your life, but I'm ready to rush my life. So from all the exactly. coast, left coast, right coast, west and east coast and south coast, good night, everyone. And congratulations again, Reed. Thanks guys. Thank and you, I, have to now, I, I have to go turn my lights off now. So <laughs> get to writing.